So, hi, I'm Paul with Recumba PDX. Uh, today we're installing a new 3x3 internally geared hub onto a brand new Catrac 559. Um, the system is an internally geared 9-speed hub, 3x3 equals 9. Um, and this is set up with a cable-operated twist grip to shift the gears. So your cables come from the twist grip down here to the little click box on the actuator and go up to the twist grip up here, which is nicely labeled from one all the way up to nine. Uh, you can shift at any time. The system also is uh, very strong, highly rated as far as how many Newton meters of torque that it can handle, which is great for all these people running uh, e-assist motors up front. So it's a completely sealed system. It's greased inside, not oiled like some uh, systems that need an oil change every year. This system is free of maintenance for a lifetime. Well, today I'm, I'm putting this one on a trike uh, for a customer, and uh, the customer's wife already has a Cat Trike 559, so we're setting up an identical uh, geared system for hers when she brings it in next Thursday uh, for installation. So uh, the, both of them are going to have matching sets of uh, geared hubs and out there riding and having a blast. So, on these hubs, um, you have the click box that the cables mount to here, which you can take off easily with the screw drive, you know, just the thumb screw, so that you can take the wheel off in case you end up with a flat tire, which I don't wish on anybody. But then there is an axle plate here that needs to stay stationary so the hub gearing can work. Um, and that, they've done a really nice job specifically for Catrike by making this bracket here that fits into the cutout on a Catrike frame and will has the uh, stud sticking out the other side. So the axle plate just slides onto that silver stud right there that fits in the frame and that uh, prevents the uh, axle plate from rotating. Uh, so when you go to put the wheel on, you just line it up so that just slides right into place and eliminates uh, you know all issues of trying to bolt everything down. So the first thing you would do to take the wheel on and off is to take the click box off. So that just slides off. And then we take our through axle and we loosen this. There we go. I can pull the through axle off. So there you can see the, uh, the stop mechanism there that fits in the frame. And when we drop the wheel in, we just line, line this right up, right onto that slot right there and pull the frame, pull the wheel up into the frame. And everything's lined up on the uh, stop. Put the axle in, and then just tighten your uh, through axle into the frame. How many Newton meters did you just put on? I'm sure that was 10 exactly. Exactly. Just tighten that back in place. Now your wheel's back on, and we're ready to ride again. And we're building this one, and this one also, the uh, customer is buying a new trike for her husband with this setup and she already has the cat trike 559 so they're going to come in and we're going to swap in the other wheel onto her trike and if somebody wants to buy a three by three from us do we have any more stock uh we've got four in stock yeah can you show us sure right over here So we've got four hubs in stock at the present time. We've got uh, the twist grip shifters. So cool. if you want to get electric shifting uh, in conjunction with a Bosch smart system uh, motor kit, then we would go with this system here, which has a shifter box that plugs into on the hub instead of the twist grip box, the cable box. And on the handlebars, you mount a uh, just a Bluetooth wireless remote uh, that does your shifting, tells this when to shift gears, and that just plugs directly into your Bosch smart system with one cable, and it interfaces with the Bosch so that it'll actually show on the screen what gear you're in uh, when you shift gears uh, on the uh, uh, three by three. It'll show up on your Bosch. Uh, Perion 200 and tell you which gear that you've just switched to.